How you feel? I feel great, man. I feel like fucking amazing, actually. You know what I mean? I do know what you mean. Would you believe? Would you believe me if I told you six weeks ago you could accomplish this much? No. no. Probably not, right? No. 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 How do you? How would you? Um, for people, I'm sure you can appreciate. A lot of people don't take a leap of faith like you did. Remember our first? I mean, our first call is very memorable. You know, you didn't. You, you were, things were kind of a little tight, a little strapped. Um, we, you know, you were even thinking about doing the basic version of the program. You know, but at the end of the day, I had to respect it, man. You just went all out for yourself. Like you're like. Fuck it. I'm just going to do the whole thing. I'll figure it out later. And you did it, man. Yeah. How do you, how would you, for people that don't do what you did and didn't take, t- don't take that leap of faith. Well, how would you describe their, what do you, what would you say they're doing for themselves or not doing for themselves for the rest of their life? They're missing out on like a whole entire process that can build for the future, like future self and insight for themselves. Like this mm-hmm. whole process changes your whole outlook on everything. I mean, you're just all around better for everybody around you. You're better in everything that you do. And people that don't take that leap and just say, you know what, fuck it, I'm going to do it. Are the Mm -hmm. people that just missing out and going to live just at a, you know, lower vibrational level and not really Mm -hmm. get, get what they, what they need out of this. You know, some people wonder why they live their whole life and they struggle. Do you, yeah. do you not see the difference here? You yeah. went all out for yourself. Many people, most people don't do that. Is it yeah. really a surprise that most people live their whole life as a shell of who they could be? No, not really. Not when you actually, once you've done it and you realize like, you know, at the beginning talking and stuff, you're like, man, I don't know. And I, but then after going through it and knowing and learning and actually building that for yourself and retraining your brain, you, mm-hmm. that, you know, it's, you, can, you, you see the difference and you realize like, man, this is crazy that like people wouldn't do this, you know? Yeah, it is. So, so quick question. This is kind of a unique way to start this conversation here. What would you say, what would you, if you, if you so happen to know somebody who is like speaking to me and they, and, and afterwards they're like, oh, you know, I don't know. It's so much money. I don't think it's, and they, and they decided to just see how things go for the next year, right? Without actually pulling trigger, without doing what you're doing, without experience, you experience just six weeks. And they got off the phone to me and, they, and they're like, oh, you know, it's not the time, Rob. It's not the time. I got all these things to do. What would you tell them they just did to themselves? I'd be like, you screwed yourself, man. If I can do it, I mean, and I found a way to do it. You know what I mean? Like coming from being just like where I was at, anybody can find a way to do it. Like they had, no, mm-hmm. I would tell them, no, don't put it off. You're going to end up screwing yourself. You know, get on it, call them back and say, Let's get this started. You know what I mean? Don't mm-hmm. hesitate. Don't, you know, don't do that to yourself. You're going to end up shooting yourself in the foot and you're going to regret it in the long run. And it's just going to be harder and a more miserable road. You know? Yep. Some people, some people, some people almost say they want that misery. I don't know what it is. It's like, but at the end of the day, I'm not anyone's savior. So, but my reason I want to get you on the call here is for you to, again, I, I, I like to, I like, I always love Steve Martin's great phrase. Be so good at what you do. People cannot ignore you. And so here you are, you were skeptical when we first started, you know, to some degree, you were hesitant, you were, you were really like really careful about even just like, you know, a, doing the basic version. You want to do the premium version, but you were like really like first, like even about the basic version. And what I really admired about you, man, which was really awesome about our calls, you went from, you went from like real protective to just like, fuck it, I'm just gonna do the whole thing. And you're like, I'll figure it out later. So, um, so if you had, if you had the ability now, the version of you now that you, I'm sure, again, would you believe, would you, if you would, if I told you this was possible for you in just, just six weeks, would you believe me? No, no way. Like I said, like every aspect of it is better. Not just like outlook on the whole like relationship drama, stuff like that. And being able to just be like, I don't even care. Like whatever she's doing is doing, but like the whole aspect of it, like my whole self is better. Like I went from 245 pounds to 209 pounds. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Just actually all like getting back out there, working out, just self, everything is just way better. Mm-hmm. You know, every aspect of life's better. I'm able to be more compassionate with the kids, understand stuff, be able to talk to people. Like when, you know, you could see their, their anger and their stuff. And like, you know, things in your brain now to like, which way to like, mm-hmm. you know, to go around and talk to people differently. You just know that you learn that you learn how to handle every situation Mm -hmm. at a different level. You know, so 
yeah, no, I would not have thought like in six weeks, yeah, yeah. look around and totally take the world at a whole different, at a whole different aspect, you know? Yeah. Yep. Yeah. You see, and you're actually, you know, it's someone else is actually inspiring some of the questions here. Um, you know, and again, I, I told them very beginning, this is hard work. It's not a magic trick. And anybody that anybody I have to convince is just not worth it. That person is going to be hard to work with. They're not going to do the work. The dog's going to eat their homework. And here's the problem. They don't want it enough. You got, a, you got an incredible outcome because you, you were in a certain place. I mean, how about this one? You know, you had, um, you know, you have five kids, you had, right? You have five kids, correct? Five kids, yeah. Yeah, five kids. And uh, you, you had all these things. It wasn't like you're making a zillion dollars. You have five kids. And at the end of the day, you took care of yourself first this one time. A lot of people like this person I'm thinking about in the back, you know, um, decide once again, they're going to put everyone else first and everything, everything else is so important. And they're making the, they don't realize they're making like a really terrible mistake. It's like, they're like, I always tell people like on a plane, if that mask falls down and, and the air pressure drops, you don't put that mask on yourself first. You're kidding yourself. Your whole life is going to be a shambles. And you're going to really, in the end, for lack of a better phrase, kind of screw yourself because you're showing as a shelf. You could be, you make bad decisions. You didn't know, nobody gets the best of you. At the end of the day, but some people are just insisted on, uh, on making their lives harder than it has to be. And that's okay. When I get something like that, I, you know, I'm like, I'm just gonna let them go because I, that person is going to, that person's going to be, their dog's going to be eating their homework. They're going to be a pain. But I think it's a really great video for those people because some people wonder why their whole life passes them by and they just continue to live as a shell of who they really could have been. And the biggest regret is knowing you, there was some, there was something you could have done that would have shifted everything, but you failed to do it. So let me ask you a question here. You had every reason not to do this on paper. Five kids, you know, you're, you have a good job, but it's not like you're making zillions of dollars. You had every reason to say, yeah, oh, I can't do it right now. Can't afford it. Um, you know, uh, uh, it's not the right time, but you did it anyway. So now let me ask this question. Now that you can look back at the decision you made versus how it would have been normally, how much of a better father are you now, would you say, with your kids versus how you would have continued to be without doing this? Oh, it's a night and day difference. You know what I mean? Night day difference. It is really night and day difference because my my 13 year old daughter, she's the youngest, and she, I mean, she's a handful, especially with what what what's going on. You know what I mean? She's having all this emotional distress. But this this whole system and program helped me like be able to like just talk to her at a whole nother level and try to help her mm -hmm. out with more stuff. And it as a parent aspect, it teaches you to like calm down. You know. Yep in help or XL 10, just relax and just understand it on a whole nother level. Mm -hmm. it, it's a night and day difference. Instead of snapping or being like, Oh, I can't handle it. You know, you, you control yourself. You, everything's, everything's there. Everything's in front of you. The path is in front of you on mm -hmm. how to handle everything. And so mm -hmm. like, it just, it's, it's completely different, you know? Question again, this is for all those people that just are on, intent on hurting or just being their own worst enemy. How much, how much would your kids have missed out if you had not done this for yourself? Oh yeah, they'd miss out a lot. Cause even they've been like, you're totally different. You're, you know, you're more understanding. You're more compassionate. You get, you know, you just, you you seem more happy. My daughter told me yesterday, you're totally different than what you were mm -hmm. a couple of weeks ago. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Before you'd be like, don't talk about it. Now you're like, who cares? Just whatever. And then mm -hmm. handled everything differently. You know what I mean? Everybody, mm -hmm. If you're hesitant, don't hesitate. Jump on it and don't even look back, man. Ride the train and just go for it because mm -hmm. it, you're going to bite yourself in the ass if you don't take the program. You know what I mean? Like that's bottom line. That's really yeah, and, and what I love about talking to you is you'd, you'd, you'd ever, I, I speak to some people, they're actually doing really well financially, don't have, don't have nearly as much, you know, they have, they have more flexibility to do than you did. Like I said, you had a lot of, which I admire about you, man, but I have a lot of people, they're just, they're just, they're just cheap of themselves. At the end of the day, they treat themselves like a second class citizen and they wonder why people don't value them at the level they deserve. So, so let me ask you another question here. Let's look at your work now. Work, your business decisions, investments. If you look now how you've changed at work, how much would your work, your job, your business decisions, how much would that have suffered if you continued to operate the level you were six weeks ago? Uh, it would have suffered a lot because at the point six weeks ago, my boss was a, he was a, avoiding me he wouldn't talk to me he's like i don't even want to talk to you i don't want to put anything on your plate i can see your stress out he's like i don't even want it and i'm like why you, why are you like this like before mm -hmm. we joked around now he's he was uh, back then he was i don't he would just avoid me like the plague like he didn't want to anything and now he's back out there joking with me and we're like 
you know, out, just be making fun of each other and you know, all this other kind of stuff. And like, I'm doing more stuff at work and having more things happen. And, you know, people are noticing more. They're coming up to me. They're like, what's going on, man? Like, how are you doing this? And it just, you can see it. Mm -hmm. you know, I mean, everybody can see it. You know, they're just like, for everything that's going on, you're yeah. a happy bastard. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. you know, regardless of everything, you always smiling. You know, so yeah, I mean, it, it changed a lot at work also. So, so if you'd not done this, how do you think this would have affected your future, your ability to get promotions or other opportunities? If you'd continue to show up as a shell of who you could have been, if you'd, if you'd not done this and things, you just kept doing things the way you had been doing, how do you think that would have affected your future financially? I probably would have ended up, I probably would have just lost a job after a while. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? Because it, nobody, you know, if you're, if you're just a, a shell of yourself, nobody wants to be around you. No one wants to talk to you. So no one wants to work with you. No one wants to, you know what I mean? No one wants to be around you. So like, it's just, you get put in a hole and nobody wants, it's your like own bubble. And then after a while, they're just like, why is he even here? You mm -hmm. know? And, and so I think it would end up with, I'd be, I'd be gone. And now, yep. like, you know, it's totally different. Like everybody's, everybody's like around me, you know? Yeah. You see, I'm sure you can see why now, and you, it, hindsight 2020, do you see why when I get someone on the call and they can't, they just can't seem to get out of their own way, they're just, again, they're almost intent on being their own worst enemy. I can, I cringe because I know where that one's going. They don't see and understand. They're just, they wonder why their whole life is a struggle, why they stress, why they have pressure, why they just don't ever get the opportunities because they, they fail to do what you've done. And it's like, again, I get someone like that, I'm like, I just have to let them go because that person is not going to be worth working with. They're just not going to do the work. But, but you see, when I, when, when I see someone like you, if you'd gone in the other direction, Rob, I would, I would just would cringe for you, your family, everyone, because I know where that was going. Oh, yeah. I know where it's sure. going. But you did it. You fucking did it, man. Oh, and yeah. also, now, now let's ask the most important question. These are all bonus things we talked about here. How do you think, how do you feel now about your future as far as relationships, be, be, your ability to meet people, have a beautiful relationship in the future without allowing that, that emotional residue to follow into the future. How do you feel about now what's available to you? Like a hundred percent different. You know what I mean? Like I, I was telling you too, like with this, I was like, man. And then like all of a sudden just people from like high school and like all these other like stuff. I mean, everywhere I go, people are smiling. Girls are like coming up and like, how you doing? Like I, I was on the phone with the, like the internet person the other, like yesterday. And she was like, flirting with me talking about stuff like I mean when you're better and you're a better version of mm -hmm. yourself you attract better things right so I mean yeah like, yeah I'm I, I have no I have, you know what I mean I know that that's out there for sure I'm of course not it is of course. About it. the new you six weeks later again would you have believed me if I told you six weeks ago how much better you'd feel about your future your ability to actually break that cycle and actually enjoy, be good either way would you believe me that you'd be this fucking good in just a few weeks no, not at all. Not at all. You know, I wouldn't in six weeks ago. No, I was like in a pit, man. I was like, I'm never going to meet nobody else. I'm like mm -hmm. 41. Who the hell is going to want a 41 year old? You know what I mean? At this now I'm like, shit, I don't care. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, I know that I'm going to find somebody else. I, I already have, you know, it's uh, of course, of course. So question. So, so how much would you have fucked yourself if you had not done this? If you had the, if you had the, the, the future you, the version of you now, and you saw your old version of you six weeks ago about to say, no, eh, I can't do it right now. What would you have said to yourself? If you were, if, if you saw your old self six weeks ago about to say, oh, you know, it's too much money. Can't really do this right now. You know, I got to take care of the kids. If you had saw yourself in slow motion about to, to nix it, what would you say to yourself, knowing what was available to you if you just actually went all out for yourself this one time? Yeah, dude, don't make the biggest mistake in your life. You better do this damn program. Because mm -hmm. I'm telling you right now, like, if you don't do this, you're going to regret the shit out of it. I'm telling you mm -hmm. right now. So you better say yes, you know? Like, mm -hmm. anybody, everybody that's out there that's looking at your program, like, there's, don't even hesitate. Say yes and just do it. Don't not do it because you're going to mm -hmm. kind of bite yourself in the ass in the long run mm -hmm. yeah I, yeah oh, okay what a shame huh what a shame that would have been it would have been it would have been a big shame yeah yeah, oh, yeah it would have the more i started doing the doing the program the more you mm -hmm. start liking it and start like needing that in the morning 
You know what I mean? The more you start actually, that's like one of the things you wake up and you're like ready for. That's, that's probably a big surprise. Cause at first it was like, man, I got to get up earlier. Mm -hmm. and do this before I do that. You know what I mean? And then mm -hmm. the more of the surprise is like you, you, that's more important. You start wanting that. And I think that's an, like a good surprise too. And then you start wrote, another one would be like, just how you like think that's a big surprise too. Like mm -hmm. how you, your thought process mm -hmm. on everything. Like you, conversations are different. The way people talk isn't, you don't uh, like uh, the conversations are totally different. You think of them a different way. I don't know if that's like that for anybody else. It, it's a, it, of course it's like that for everyone on that, on that note. You know, I remember what I promised at the very beginning at the beginning of the program. I said, for the first time in your life, you'll know if the same situations happen again in the future, you'll actually know how to handle it, literally, step by step. Yeah. That's that's exactly, you know, so how do you, so how do you feel about your ability? If challenges come in the future, for the first time, how do you feel about your ability to handle whatever comes your way? Yeah, I'm not even worried about that. Like, for if any kind of, any anything comes in my future, I know how to handle it. I've already had that kind of situation. I've had to tell people like, <laughs> yeah. this is my line in the sand. You know what I mean? Like, I, and it, it just, it, I, yeah, I know that for any future issues, events, anything like that, I am a hundred percent secure that I know exactly what to do and how to handle it and not even, not even worry about anything at all. You know, mm -hmm. that, that is like cemented in my head at this point, you know? And that's true. And that's true freedom to know whatever comes your way. You actually know how to handle it as opposed yeah. to everyone else who just thinks they can read or watch your way to the winner's circle. Good luck with that. Uh, so la very last question, very last question. This is a kind of nice kind of short and to the, the point a call. So last question here, if you happen to see somebody who'd been following my emails for a long time, wondering like, you know, with cynicism, skepticism, which is really just fear in disguise. That's all that is. All those people, they're just fearful. And it's unfortunate for them. They're going to, they're at the end of the day. Uh, that's, that's what brings them to their whole life just passes by and they just lived in fear their whole life. They never experienced what it was like to go all out for themselves. So if you happen to be behind somebody, just silently watching someone who'd been following my emails, following my videos for like months or even years, and just, oh, I'm skeptical, like whatever that is. And they're just about to turn off the email again. What would you, what would you, if you had an opportunity to actually shake that person and tell them something, what would you tell them? I'd be like, you're an idiot. Stop, stop doing that and email him or call him because it'll be the best damn decision you make. Like, don't be stupid. <laughs> you're, obviously, you're obviously looking at it because something is drawing you to the program that you keep mm -hmm. looking. So just do it because it'll be the best decision and probably the smartest decision that you made for yourself. So don't be dumb and fucking do it. <laughs> <laughs> nice. wonderful, yeah. wonderful, wonderful. Again, it's a, again, people think I'm crazy. Do they see that I'm not? You know, it's like, you know, and again, I, I get it. I've been in the same place, man. I know exactly what it's like to just watch my whole life just pass me by, operating as a shell of who I could be and just letting things get really dark. And eventually I got to the point where I'm like, all right, I can't take it. And the only difference between you know, you and me versus the other people out there, it just hasn't gotten painful enough yet. But the good news for those people is very simple. Um, pain is one of the biggest teachers and Mr. Pain doesn't oh, yeah. appear. Mr. Pain is very relentless and will eventually teach you a lesson. And at that point, most of your life has passed you by and that's really a shame. So thank you for adding that because I think for anyone who is really been watching for a long time, um, you know, maybe this will be the video that finally says, you know what, what better day than today to actually take a real stand and go all out for myself. Because I'm always willing to work you and how about this one? Can you I always tell people I'm always willing to work for people that are talking in terms of actions. Take action, be resourceful, be a hero. But as soon as someone starts showing me they're not gonna do the work and they're whatever, I'm just you know, I, I can't I can't I will give you my heart and soul if you're that person who's gonna do the work. But as soon as I see somebody's just they're just full of excuses, da, 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 you know, yeah, just I, I I can't I can't I can't I can't work with that. You know, like I said, at the end of the day, not, not a magic trick, but, um, yeah. So the, the, you did what you did, what you had to do, man. You did, you did, you did great. So I'm super happy, super excited to see how far you've come. And like I said, this is only the very, very beginning. Oh yeah. I appreciate it, man. Like I said, like, uh, yeah, you, you were great. You were there like any, any time, like I needed you, man. You were there like any, all of us, you were there, you yeah. know what I mean? So if somebody 
Like, if somebody's watching this and they're hesitant, I'm telling you, like, go for it. Don't hesitate. Like, Lance will be there for your ass, like, 110%, 1,000%, no matter what, you know, and get your ass back on the top. 